New Aussie data has revealed our stress levels are on the rise and while it's a normal human reaction, too much can have a huge impact on our bodies and affect our mental health. Stress can show up in the body in many ways, from insomnia to headaches, poor memory and high blood sugar. And the foods you eat can exacerbate anxiety levels and make you feel like you're losing control. Clinical nutritionist Sarah DiLorenzo joins us now. Morning to you, Sarah. Good morning. This is a really fascinating area of nutrition, the link, I guess, between the foods you eat and your mental health. Uh, you, you've actually shown that by eating certain things, you can lower your stress levels. Yeah, there's, so there's a growing body of evidence through multitudes of studies done that show that people who have poor quality diets will have a, have a more negative response to stress as opposed to those people who eat healthy with fruit and vegetables, with the anti-inflammatory foods, B vitamins for neurological support as well as antioxidants. So people who have healthy diets respond to stress a lot better. It can and be, that's through studies that have been done. Right, because it can be a really difficult cycle because people are feeling rubbish yes. so that they just want to have something nice, you know, yeah. and eat something nice. You, as you always do, have put together some of the foods that we should be eating in recipes. So what are we looking <clears> at? So here I've got a stress, um, two of my favourite stress-less recipes. I've made a stress-less pancake. It's one of the easiest things to do. And before I showcase the health benefits of these ingredients. All you do with that is literally mash two bananas, add two eggs, add a cup and a half of oats, mix it together, pan fry and top it like I've done there with nuts and yogurt. And another one, instead of grabbing like things like chips and lollies, why not go for some something like dark chocolate with some pistachio nuts? All I've done with that is actually just melt it and reset it and you can have it in the freezer ready to go with a cup of chamomile tea if you're feeling stressed. So they're my two favourite stress-less Yum. recipes. Great way to start your day. Have a Yum. pancake. Yeah. Feel less with stressed. Some, with yeah. some chocolate. Mm. Love but it. it's the this ingredients. Like it. Magnificent. It is the ingredients yeah. in there, yeah. So uh, talk us through the ingredients. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just showcase great ingredients which are, help bring down stress. Things like blueberries are wonderful because they support your immune system. Oats are great because they'll keep you full. Eggs have got the B vitamins in them for, which are going to support your nervous system. Yogurt's great for the gut brain axis. Oranges I picked as my source of vitamin C because oranges bring down cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and then turkey will help with the production of tryptophan which leads to serotonin which makes us feel good so these are all some great things you can bring into your diet and on a um, to may help manage stress better so, mm. so empirically studies show that if you eat the right things like you're talking about your cortisol yes. level comes down absolutely. and therefore you're, you're you're scientifically less yes, stressed absolutely and that's what all research has been done what about definitely yeah. sorry sorry, sorry Mon. you go what about inflammation inflammation is a big driver of stress and inflammation will lead to things like high blood pressure but to bring down inflammation is things like we've got salmon cashews and avocado but of course other great foods are things like pistachio nuts they'll help with they're great to pick if you feeling stressed but they'll bring down blood pressure. Magnesium is nature's chilling mineral and that will actually be found in things like pumpkin seeds and dark chocolate. has got the vasodilation with the cacao we find in it. So these are all other great things that you can include in your diet. Okay, so your tips for people moving forward? trying to My, my tips, of, of course, are things like make time for yourself, uh, limit your time on social media, take up a hobby, sleep well, definitely exercise daily, keep a journal, time management, get help from a professional and most of all, laugh. I think laughter really is the best medicine, yeah, as okay. best as you can. And yes. have a Sarah Di Lorenzo <laughs> pancake. If <you> <laughs> yeah, and, some and then what you've got on the last podium is obviously the things that can increase stress then, are they? All of these things here on this last podium and through all of that evidence will drive stress. They will bring up inflammation which will lead to high blood pressure, interfere with the, with gut health. They will. There's there's gluten in the bread which is, can be an allergen. You've got the sugar highs, the sugar lows, destabilising blood glucose and all of them will drive disease as well as the preservatives we find in processed meats. All of these things here are definitely just going to make that symptom profile picture a lot worse. And they're kind of things like the lollies people will grab for yeah. and get into rhythmical eating if they're feeling stressed. Rhythmical eating. Yeah, well, people when they're not there before. I am an excellent <laughs> yeah. rhythmic eater. Sarah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank really you. interesting. <laughs> Appreciate that. We know that people's stress levels are sky high. Yes, so awesome. Thank you. Sarah DiLorenzo there. We'll put all the details on our website.